Um, okay, I'm going to start talking to you firstly about the Paralympic Games in 2012, um, and then I'm going to move on to talk a bit about disability. So two things which link together really well. Um, I, I kind of want to draw your attention to the fact that the Olympic Games is a lot more publicised than the Paralympic Games. Um, the Paralympic Games, sometimes it doesn't really receive the attention and the publicity that it really deserves. Um, because if, if you look at it like this way, I think everybody here has um, seen some of the Olympic Games. Everybody can name at least five Olympic athletes, you know, and you can, and you can name at least two Olympic events. But if you turn that on its head, um, how many of you have actually watched the Paralympic Games? I think, yeah, it, it, it's, quite, it's quite shocking to know that people don't actually pay attention to the disability side of the sports. Um, I think it's, it's a real shame that we're missing out on these such inspirational athletes on all, all of their dedication and hard work and, and they're not actually, you know, given the, the, the attention that they really deserve, to be honest. Um, and obviously, the reason that they do compete in the Paralympic Games is because they have a disability. Now, um, a couple of days ago, I was re researching on the internet about disability and I came across a definition of... Um, a Google definition of disability, and I was really shocked actually to see what it said. It says um, a, d a disabled person is somebody which society sees as disadvantaged in um, their physical or mental health. And I think that's a real shame to say that somebody's disadvantaged because you know if somebody has a disability, it doesn't mean that they're any less of a person. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't mean they're disadvantaged. They can still do what they want to do. Um, I think every, the, main, the main thing that I want to get across here is, you know, everybody standing out here today has some form of disability in one shape or the other. It might not be physical, it might not be mental, but everybody standing here does have some sort of disability. Um, and you might be kind of like shocked of me saying that, but you're not, you, it's not something that everybody notices. Um, I, I had a dream um, growing up. Um, this dream of mine, it's not going to come true anymore. Um, I had a dream that I wanted to become an Olympic athlete. Um, I, wanted, I wanted to sprint. Um, I wanted to inspire young people the way, the way that Olympic athletes had inspired me. Um, unfortunately, um, in 2009, I had an operation um, which didn't go quite as planned. Um, and I'm now what society calls disabled. Um, it was quite hard for me to get over at first, but I think, you know, it comes to the point where you have to embrace your disability and use it, you know, to help you. Um, so, obviously my dream of becoming a sprinter isn't going to happen, um, but now I have a new dream. Um, my, my dream for the future is to actually become a Paralympic athlete, um, because I want, I want to use my disability at an advantage, and I want to show the world that... Um, a disability doesn't mean that you're disadvantaged. Um, yeah, I, it's never been, for me, it's never been about fame or money or, you know, getting my face, you know, shown around the world. It's just about inspiring people and, and educating on disability. Um, and I, I have a vision for the future. Um, I have a vision for the future that we're going to live in a world where being normal is abnormal. Um, <laughs> None of us here are normal, but we, our society is um, it's quite tainted and we, we live in quite a prejudiced world. So, you know, I have a vision for the future where we're going to live in a world without prejudice, in a, in a world without hate and bullying, and, you know, that we can really all unite as one and, you know, embrace each other. And I just want everybody to know here that, you know, even if you have a disability, you're no different from, everybody, from anybody else, you know. We're not different, it's society that's different. Thank you. Thanks very much, Holly, that was brilliant.